Hi, everyone. Thank you for, very much for joining us today. Before we start, start, I would like to inform you that the webinar will be recorded. And please make sure your microphones are muted. So it is our pleasure to have with us the representatives of PwC. So now let me introduce Angela Mesropian, the Senior Manager at Advisory Practice at PwC, who will, who will be the moderator of today's event. Please, Angela. Oh, thank you. Thank you for introduction, Narine. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our today's presentation. Thank you very much for attending our event. Uh, first, let me thank you, American University of Armenia, for hosting this event and for giving us an opportunity to talk about the guide to doing business and investing in Armenia with the students and alumni of AUA. Now, let me introduce our speakers. Alexey Rusanov, director of PwC Armenia. Alexey will provide a short introduction to the guide. And then Narega Abrahamian, who recently joined our advisory practice as a manager, will provide further details about the guide. Um, interesting fact about Arek, Arek repatriated to Armenia just a month ago, and we are very happy to have Arek in our team. Uh, yeah, and before moving on, please, if you have any questions, use the chat or raise hand button. And uh, Q&A session will be held after our next presentation. And the last request, if possible, please turn on your cameras. Uh, with that being said, let me give the floor to Alexey Rusanov. Alexey, please. Yeah, thank you, Angela. Thank you, guys. Um, sincerely happy to be here on this event and present results of our very big work to such a professional audience. Actually, I'm traveling currently and happy, uh, hi everyone from Sheremetyevo Terminal. So as Angela told, I'm Alexey Rusanov, I'm director of PwC Armenia and I get acquainted with Armenia back in 2007 and in 2019 I came again and uh, lead the local practice. Um, we understand that current and easy times for Armenia and I think we share the same thoughts all together. But I think you would probably agree that the worst thing that we can do now is uh, do nothing. So we in PwC Armenia are looking for areas of growth that can be here and engage ourselves in a number of some new projects. One of these projects is a big, big task to deliver, I would say, fair information to the businesses, both of uh, Armenian origin and not outside Armenia and show opportunities because um, even before, but mainly from autumn 2020, we received an enormous number of requests from all the Armenian and not only Armenian people working in PwC globally. And one of the main things they uh, pointed out is that the information coming to them, to the US, to Russia, to Middle East, and etc., is not very accurate. So it is one of our tasks to try to solve that problems. And despite of the complexities, I would like to say that we should acknowledge that economy is working, but at the same time, it needs empowerment. I hope, and we as a team hope, that Investor's Guide will help uh, that and will serve, you know, like an extended business card, highlighting key uh, key areas like, for example, perspective industries, tax privileges that can be useful for the new businesses and the businesses that are currently operating and uh, provide some more info about stories of success that will motivate new entrepreneurs to come to Armenia and do something good and many other things. Further, my colleagues Angela and Derek will share more information about the guide and how it was prepared and why we decided to do that. I would be thankful to all of you who, present, uh, who are presented currently here for sharing this guide uh, wherever you want and letting us know about any questions or ideas that you may have or any contacts that you may have. So thank you for being here and I give the floor back to Arek and Angela. Thank you, Alexey. Thank you for introduction. Arek, please. Good evening and thank you for joining us today. 
Uh, let me introduce myself briefly. Uh, my name is Sarek Abramian, and uh, as Angela have already told, I have repatriated to Armenia a month ago from Moscow in February. Uh, so to continue my career here in Yerevan. For more than two years, I'm a strategy and operations consultant. Previously, I've also worked with, for PwC in Moscow office. And what I would like to say is that there, the, in the Armenian community in Moscow, the American University of uh, Armenia is well known and has a great reputation. So it is a big pleasure for us to join you today and talk about the guide to doing business and investing in Armenia. The guide provides a brief overview of the business environment and investment climate in the country. Uh, our guide presents the main advantages and opportunities of doing business. So one of the main questions that uh, every investor may ask himself or herself is, why should I make a decision to invest in any country? And Armenia is not an exception. Mainly, there are six reasons why. So firstly, Armenia is one of the most open investment locations in the CIS region with equal opportunities for foreign and domestic investors. Secondly, the researches have shown that from Armenia, it is possible to reach out to 1.5 billion, uh, billion consumers with zero or reduced custom rates. And especially that might be attractive for manufacturing companies as they have an access to the markets of uh, Eurasian Economy Union and the European Union. Investing in Armenia also means cooperating with a workforce which is relatively well-skilled and cost-efficient and multilingual. And you know, Armenians are multilingual by default because many of us know Armenian and Western Armenian already. So, and by the way, that is a very important point for the investor as if you may plan everything correctly. However, due to the local workforce, the plans might stay unaccomplished. Another important criteria for investors is that in Armenia, there are incentives developed for investors, about which we will talk later. And finally, if an investor has decided to make investments in Armenia and to open a company here, then it is a very easy task to do. Armenia ranks 10th in starting business indicator of World Bank Group doing business report, about which we will talk later as well. So on the previous slide, we have talked about a uh, number of reasons why I invest in Armenia. And here is the digitalization of reaching out to 1.5 billion population markets with zero or reduced consumer duties. So there are such unions as Euro Eurasian Union, agreements with Iran and Vietnam, CIS and Georgia, Eurasian Union excluded, GSP plus agreement with the European Union and the UK, and GSP agreement with Canada, Norway, Japan, Switzerland, and the US. So GSP plus and GSP already cover one, more than 1 billion people across the globe. But a lot of companies to reach out from a 3 million country, isn't it? The Armenian economy is fairly stable. And in recent years, the company enjoyed economic growth until March 2020. During the first two months of 2020, the economy grew by 9.2% year to year. It's also important to mention that 7.6% of GDP growth in 2019 was the highest growth rate among Europe. However, as many countries, almost every country in 2020 expected decline by 6.3% in Armenia. According to the World Bank, the GDP growth should be back in 2021. And it is forecasted that pre-COVID levels will be back in 2022, which is fair for many countries in the world. What we, can see on the, what we can see in the graph on the right is that agriculture sector has lost six percentage point in GDP share since 2012. 
and the industry sector has lost four, four percentage points. Meanwhile, the services sector is the only major sector that has shown increase in GDP share. Considering export infrastructure, uh, we believe that there is no surprise as Russia is holding leading position in both indicators. Export to Russia is 1.6 times higher than to the second place, second country, Switzerland. And import from Russia is 2.4 times higher than from China. It is also worth to say that the second countries have also a huge handicap in relation to the third ones. Other countries are more or less nearby each other. Regarding import and export structure by product, we see that food and mineral products are two biggest categories in mach and machinery is a leading category in import and is almost twice higher than foods. Regarding another important topic, which is foreign direct investments, the leading sector that is more than three times higher and more inflows than the second position is financial service activities, except insurance and pension fund. The second place has also a huge handicap from subsequent positions and it's electricity, gas, steam and air. Other sectors are nearby each other. Russia holds the leading positions in the FDI inflows almost four times more foreign direct investments than the second country, the Netherlands. And meanwhile, Luxembourg holds the third position and the US, for example, holds ninth. In Armenia, uh, there are areas of economy that have the highest salaries with a huge, around two times or even more advantage compared to the others. Mining and caring, IT and communications, finance and insurance. And regarding unemployment rate, which is on the right, on the bottom right, we could say that the unemployment rate has slightly decreased in 2019 compared to 2018, but it increased in 2020. Another important topic for, to consider for an investor are country rankings. And among four country rankings for in, uh, which are important for investors, Armenia is doing particularly good in doing business report and economic freedom index, falling 47th and 32nd position accordingly. And such countries like Belgium and Latvia are neighbors of Armenia in the ratings. Regarding world competitiveness and talent competitiveness rankings, Armenia is higher than its neighbor, Georgia, which is higher than Armenia in doing business and economy business report. Speaking of doing business report, it's the World Bank's group report that provides objective measures of doing business regulations and their enforcement across 190 economies and selected cities at a subnational and regional level. While Armenia has a good position in doing business report overall, the best ranked indicator is starting a business where Armenia is a tense. So if someone, including an investor, plans to register a company in Armenia, he or she has to provide just six pieces of information. What is also worth mentioning is that International Finance Corporation, the IFC, under the analytical support and implementation assistance doing business reforms, the project supports the government efforts to improve Armenia's rankings in the World Bank Group doing business report for the selected indicators. PwC Armenia has been subcontracted by the IFC to support in delivering this project. One of the most important areas of doing business in any country is corruption issue, which you can see on the bottom of the slide. And Armenia, it's worth mentioning, has a great improvement in corruption perception index, 
in 2020 by improving by 17 positions and now shares the ones with Slovakia and Jordan. Side changes do not remain unnoticed by the international organizations such as Transparency International that states that Armenia made significant investments in anti-corruption reforms. So what is really important here is not only the place itself, but the dynamics. Improving by 17 positions within a year sends a signal to investors that the government is working actively on the issue. One of the most important points for all investors and businessmen in the country and outside the country are the taxes. And we provide here a tax snapshot as well. So on this slide, you can see the key highlights. And as you may know, the profit tax rate was reduced from 20% to 18% starting from January, 2020. And personal income tax, which is, which is currently set as 22%, will be further reduced to 20% by 2023. What we would like to mention is that under tax project funded by the UK government Good Governance Fund, PwC Armenia, in cooperation with the Minister of Finance and State's Revenue Committee, have developed electronic tax guidelines, which are available at the, at the link that uh, Angela will kindly provide you in the chat right now. Thank you very much. In the guidelines, which you, which you can see also on the bottom of the slide, uh, are classifications on tax provisions and they're presented through the practical examples and in graphs. So like every investor that would like to know more about taxes in Armenia may dive in and understand how they work on the pictures and graphs. We have talked about tax incentives uh, when we're talking about why to invest in Armenia. So basically there are general tax incentives that we'd like to talk about and tax incentives for IT startups. And uh, as you can see on the slide, there are a number of tax incentives for investors and we have pointed out the most significant ones. For example, VAT payments are postponed for up to three years on important equipment and goods within the scope that is uh, defined by the government of Armenia. 0% VAT and 0% excise tax are provided for exporters. Profit tax privileges for creating new jobs on projects selected by a relevant government decree and profit tax exemptions are provided for agricultural production until 1st January 2025. There is more about taxes in our main report, which will be shared with you after the presentation. But meanwhile, we'd like also to talk about uh, incentives for IT startups. And uh, according to the law, IT startups can apply for the certificate that provide tax breaks if they meet the following requirements, which is uh, which are more than presented here, but these ones are the main ones. So at least 70% of turnover delivered from specific types of activities. IT startups should be registered in Armenia and as, while certificate cannot be applied to subsidiaries economic associations, branch offices, and etc. And the number of employees should not exceed 30. So it's a great story for a startup. The certificates provided by the Minister of High-Tech High Industry exempts IT startups from the corporate income tax until 31st December 2022 reduces the personal income tax withheld by the employer from 22% to 10%, and, and R&D activities qualifying the criteria defined by the government of Armenia are considered VAT exam transactions.
Another important, important topic to consider while choosing a country to invest in are priority sectors. And we have highlighted during this presentation the three, three of them, and you can see more of them during the full report, which we'll receive afterward. So the priority sectors are a renewable energy, agri-food, IT and communications technology. So about renewable energy, what is important to mention is that while, and what is important also for a patron, Armenia has, Armenia has and receives 307 days, which are sunny. So that means 2,500 2, hours of sunshine per year. And what is also important, the government of Armenia has guaranteed to purchase produced renewable energy via feed-in tariffs. And we are talking about all the produced energy, renewable energy. So another priority sector would like to point out is agri-food, which is for sure one of the most important sectors of the Armenian economy. And the key facts are that the 11.6% of agriculture sector is, in, is a share of GDP. And more than a half companies of agri-food processing companies are certified for the Eurasian Union, HACCP, FDA, and ISO. Another priority sector that I'd like to talk about, which is very important, very trendy, as you might have already guessed if you didn't see the slide, is information and communication technology. What is important is that in Armenia, there are companies, there are mix of companies actually, international and locally, which are worldwide known, like IBM, Microsoft, Synapses, and the local ones such as Pixar and Crisp. And products in the sector are mainly exported to the US, Canada, and Europe, which means that the workforce in Armenia is able to, to deliver the product and the quality of the product, which is required by the clients in the countries, which as we may know, are really highly high demand. Mainly, mainly that's, that was a presentation of uh, the guide. Here is about our team, three of us you can see today. And uh, once again, I would like to thank you very much for, the, for joining us today. And we'll be happy to answer your, to, to answer your questions if you have ones. Yeah, thank you much. Thank you very much, Rick, for, for the presentation. And you know, it's no not uh, the, the the best way to get acquainted with the guide is to read it and to use it. But now, in a very short way, we decided to talk to you about how it was created and what you can find inside. We have one of the questions in the chat, and that's you know very expected question. I am share uh, the thoughts that all we have. I'm also living in this country, and I know uh, what is happening now. We thought about this question, you know, very, very carefully. And as many other businesses, we had some, you know, pause in terms of the activities starting from March due to the COVID situation and then due to, you know, a, num uh, a number of other reasons. And as I said in my welcome words, I strongly believe that the most wrong way currently is to do nothing because if you do not uh, make efforts if you do not, uh, you know, contribute to the development of the economy, you know, nothing good will happen. Um, in terms of, um, you know, national security and these positive findings, I can say that I meet with a big number of people in Armenia, with businessmen, with officials, 
uh, mainly with entrepreneurs who risk, uh, you know, their name, who risk their capitals and do a lot of things in Armenia. The uh, plant trees, I mean, the orchards, they construct new factories, they develop new IT solutions and etc. So they really, there are a number of big projects currently in Armenia, big for, for Armenia. And it is very good that there are a lot of entrepreneurs who do that. So, uh, of course, we can, you know, stop and uh, wait until something will be resolved by their own. But I do not think that it is, you know, a way to success and way to good economy and prosperity of the country. Only the strong economy will provide an opportunity for the bit better national security, for the uh, uh, more sophisticated techniques to save the country, to preserve the country, to defend the country. Uh, uh, that goes without saying from my point of view. And uh, in addition to that, we see the huge support of the diaspora from all over the world. And uh, after October, we have already helped two Armenian entrepreneurs who are living in California and they, you know, became even more motivated to do something good for their, for their motherland. And it is, you know, not only charity, because charity, I think, will not, uh, I'm sorry for these words, but I think the only charity will not um, help, you know, to develop. It, of course, a very good thing, but only the investments and the rational uh, thinking will help to develop and do much more. So these two entrepreneurs decided to make their investments in Armenia to create their uh, uh, hubs here to train people, to hire more people, and we help them in terms of, you know, legal analysis, tax structuring, and et cetera. So it's already happening, and we hope very much that it will continue and it will grow. Yeah, thanks for the response, Anait. I saw it. Thank you, Alexei. Thank you, Arek. Dear participants, do you have any questions or do you want to unmute yourself and ask a question? While we are uh, waiting for the questions to come, I would like to also add uh, what Alexei has said. And uh, it's, it's also happening in Russia you know, among the Armenian community because uh, many of us are thinking how to deal now with the Armenian business, how to do, how to do more for, how to invest more. And what is really important here is to understand uh, what are the ways on investing and uh, how to act yourself as an investor. Then that's what the, the guide is more about. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Okay, uh, thank you, dear participants. Uh, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, that's true. It is available on the website. You can easily download it. It's, we deliberately created a small checklist, very easy and uh, tiny, that you need to fill in before downloading because we feel that it will be very important to know who is uh, going to receive the uh, the guide you know, to decide where it goes and what use it creates. So please go to PwC IM and you will download it. Okay, seems we're done. Yes, sure, sure. Please, please do that. Yeah, we already shared this guide with uh, 250 Armenians uh, that created some Armenian uh, community in PwC globally. So it went even before the official release, just something like two days before. So I think it's somewhere on LinkedIn already, not registered, but it should be there. Yeah, of course, of course, with everyone, but it's just, you know, the first channel. So it's even more, it might be even more important. I'm answering to Anahit now. It might be even more important to share it with not Armenians. Because as we may know, the among the Armenian network, we know each other. And uh, probably many of us could uh, find someone uh, who is necessary 
precisely, but especially for not Armenians, it's very important to share. And uh, it's also very important to provide them the, the, the real information, considering that it's important for the investor. Because not many of them may know that Armenia might be a great destination for their business. <laughs> yeah, it's a good virus yeah thank you very much Anaid thank you very much dear participants all the best to you today and later thank you for joining thank you Test thank John. you very much thank you it was great pleasure for us thank you thank you very much thank you very much yes Uh, maybe we could pass the word to Narone if necessary. Thank you. Before passing the word, thank you very much to the American University of Armenia team for inviting us today. Thank you very yeah. much for great thank presentation. You very much. Thank you for, thank for you. being for being with us. All of you in few days will receive the report. Uh, yeah, your email. Okay. And recording. You, yeah? Recording. Record. And recording. Sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Very, very. You're welcome, Anna. Very inspiring. The only inspiring, you know, event uh, during all these months, you know, in all really? the. Uh, yeah, I mean, in all this, you know, uh, how to say, overwhelming uh, depression and everything. So when you see research data and uh, they encourage you and empower so and you uh, more important most importantly you can share this you know with your friends and the networks this is very inspiring yeah. thank you Arik actually i have okay. i have seen the report and it's more detailed one Arik try to summarize it on yeah. covered on the okay. yeah let me say on this that the report is really more detailed we have made you know, executive summary of the executive summary. And, and also uh, you have mentioned you, that you have done some update after war, yeah, Arek? Uh, yes, that is right. The, all the information is also updated after the war. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's the most relevant one. No, please. No, Thank right. you, Arek. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we will share the report with all our alumni, not only with participants. So we hope that in their turn, they will share it with their network, within their network. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, Susanna. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Alisa, thank you. Goodbye.